Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a simple makeover to our laundry room. As you can see, it's not very exciting at all. There are a lot of random items in here that don't belong, and I really wanted to elevate this space. This room is the first room that people can see when they walk in our back door. So with that said, it was definitely time to make this space more inviting. I worked really hard on this project and my hope is that it will give you some inspiration or ideas that you need for your home. The first thing on my list is to get out all of the clutter and items and prep the room for painting. I wanted to create a backdrop wall behind the washer and dryer and give this room more warmth and texture. Laundry is already overwhelming and the way it looks now was just adding to that in my opinion. <laughs> so I am really excited to get this started and share the whole process with you guys. So I hope that you can stick around and see the final result. The little wire rack behind me is about to go. Hop in my getaway car, let's go just... For the night Nowhere is ever too far, baby, all we got is time A small town, run down, so let's run away from here From the coast to the coast, where everything is clear this paint liner tray to set in here because this is what I had already and it doesn't fit right it's a little a little bit too long I think I can still use it though I just have to be very very careful and watchful when I use this anyways I did get this in tricorn black by Valspar in semi-gloss I actually wanted satin for in here, but she gave me semi-gloss for some reason. It'll still work, I think, because it's for the laundry room, but Tricorn Black and Valspar paint and primer. So, I'm going to use that to paint this wall, this wall here. All right, I have two options. I can shut off the main water line and unhook everything to the washing machine. But when I do that, that's obviously the main water valve. So that's gonna cut off all the water throughout the house. Or I can just leave the washing machine the way it is, wait for one section to dry, push it back up, and then work on the other half. Still debating on what I should do, but um, I'm just going to start at the top and then make my decision as I get further along. I am using some spackling to cover the holes in the wall from the wall shelf. This goes on pink and then it turns white after it dries so you can sand it down afterward. This works really well if you have any imperfections, dents, or minor holes in your walls. <gasps> oh, all over the floor. All over the floor. To wipe the slate clean Go from chaos to the peace I need to focus on me A small town run down So let's run away from here From the coast to the coast Where everything is clear Tricorn Black is very close to True Black and this is a very bold color that is classy and sophisticated. I think black can look incredible anywhere that you put it as long as you use it in the right ways. And I love using this color as an accent wall color option. The light fixture that I purchased, which you'll see here shortly, contrasted so well with this accent wall and you will be surprised with how much difference a new light fixture can elevate a space. Just wanna start all over. Just wanna start all over. All over. 
I'm going to sand the areas where the spackling was now that it was dry before I paint any further. You want to make sure to sand it down so it's a smooth surface again. All right, I pushed the dryer up some, unplugged it. Um, I probably need to take my cordless vacuum and kind of go behind here really quick because just because I don't want any dust getting stuck to the paint. So I'm going to do that all behind here. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I do need to unplug it. That's no problem. I can probably do that now. I just don't want to cause a mess back here. But my concern is if I don't unhook the hoses, I won't be able to reach up here and do the trim. So I may have to flip that switch and get the hoses undone. It's definitely coming along, y'all. So excited! If you happen to be on the shorter side like I am, I do recommend getting a paint roller that extends. I found it was much easier to maneuver versus using a traditional one and the only time I had to use a chair was when I had to get the trim at the very top. I didn't end up shutting off the water valve so I painted around all the hoses and I do think removing them would have made it easier but I think it was just me not wanting to deal with the water that would have leaked out from the hoses and stuff and also I have zero patience these days. I knew painting was going to be the longest part of this project and I was trying to get all of the painting done as quick as I could. Alright, just a little update. I got all of the trim up into that batten strip all the way across. I've got all the way down to the bottom. I had to take a plate off of the electrical outlet here for the dryer so I can get around that. And I did get all the way around. I'm going to take this off just so I can get behind it a little bit. But yeah, I am making progress. Making progress. I did get around this outlet too. I got around this. It's still drying. Um, but yeah, definitely making progress. We know how to take the lead and we aren't afraid. Shake up all the rules, pretend like they were never made. You know it's real. I just installed my first light fixture. I had to do all the wiring. Oh, can't believe it. I do need to run and get some more bulbs to fill it in because I don't have any more but I just spent an hour and a half trying to get this installed and I feel so proud of myself. The wires were giving me a hard time but I got it. Your girl did it. All right, I wanted to have a wooden shelf right above the washer and dryer and I had already measured how wide I wanted it to be. I am just using a piece of wood that we already had and this was the longest one that I could find in our pile. I 
I am using an electric sander to make sure the wood has a smooth surface before I start staining it. You want to make sure you do this when you cut any wood pieces. So I picked up these light bulbs and realized that they were not going to work in this room. It was way too yellow looking and I didn't like it. Then I exchanged them for another set of bulbs that ended up being too bright, which is what you see here now. And the light was reflecting off of the accent wall, making it 10 times brighter too. And I didn't like that either. I still need to get a different set of bulbs to tone it down in here. It's just way too bright than what I wanted in here because I wanted the space to be calm and relaxing. It's just harder when there's not any natural lighting in here. There isn't any windows at all, but I will get the right bulbs. I am moving on to organizing this side of the room. I ended up rearranging the shelf and deep freezer to help make this space more functional for me. I'm contemplating the color I should paint the rest of this room with, so y'all let me know down below in the comments if you have any suggestions. I'm thinking of maybe doing Alabaster by Sherwin-Williams or like a very light gray color with those bluish undertones in here. I think that would go well with the black accent wall, but I am open to anything that y'all might suggest. I don't know where this life will take me. I just know I'm here for the ride Baby, there ain't no sense in waiting Yeah, we don't know if we got the time Oh, I'm just a country girl In a real big world You can catch me on 65 Driving to the mountaintop I don't make no stops Yeah, this town was once all that I knew I'll never forget my roots I'll never forget my roots Maybe I'll end up in the city Underneath all the flashing lights Maybe I'll be in a new country But when I go to sleep at night Oh, I'm just a country girl In a real big world You can catch me on 65 Driving to the mountaintop I don't make no stops Yeah, this town was once all that I knew I'll never forget my roots I'll never forget my roots I'll never forget my roots I'll never forget my roots, never forget my roots. There's nothing you can make me do Ever forget my roots Oh, I'm just a country girl In a real big world You can catch me on 65
44 and a half divided by three is putting you at 15. A little less than 15. Also, I look here, you want to put them in studs too. You want to keep that in there. You want this at seven and a half inches? The lights are still too bright in here for me. I've done switched out the light bulbs twice. <laughs> the first ones were a little too yellow in here, like legit yellow in here, and now it's too LED in here for me. I really wanted just a really faint, soft white. That's really what I wanted in here. So, this isn't what I want right now, but I will be getting some different light bulbs. It's just out of my budget right now. Michael went to go get a tape measure so we can hang up the shelf. I want it just above the outlet here. That way it's reachable because I'm short. Welcome oh, back, my friend. Peace, love, and happiness. My Alfred can. Be careful with Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to the, the honey to do list. <laughs> Go. I got it. That man's an electrical there. What? Electrical. Right Twenty-five inches. There needs to be twenty-five inches in between these things. Now people gonna be like, "What are y'all doing on the board? I can't see nothing." Hold on, y'all. I'm moving. We measured the distance between each stud and the wall, and we are attaching the brackets to the wood to accommodate that distance because we are attaching the shelf to the studs. set it down I'm gonna have to cut that bat and strip out the way. I am touching up a few areas that needed some extra paint and I'm also going to paint the brackets underneath the wood to make the wall more cohesive. Now it's time to decorate this space. This is my favorite part of any project I do. I love adding pieces of decor to complete what I envision a space to look like. Most of the decor I picked up from Big Lots, they have really cute pieces that are affordable. This little wicker basket I did get from the Dollar Tree and I am going to use that to store some clothespins. And I also picked up a white half moon shelf that you see here from Big Lots. I think it was a perfect fit for this side of the wall just to add some dimension and texture.
Just a quick reminder of how the space looked like before, super dull, uninviting, unorganized, and not a very exciting room to be in. And here are the afters. I hope you all enjoyed this makeover video and hopefully it gave you some inspiration. I really enjoyed making and sharing this with you all. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it so much and subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you join this community and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!